Hi. In this video, I'm going to illustrate how you can custom make your own profile for the frame. When you when using frame, for example, let me edit uh one frame, frame five. For the profile, we have the the library that has standard profiles to use in the year. But you might find yourself in a situation whereby you need a certain type of profile that is not available. You can always make your own. Let me now illustrate how you do that. I'm going to make, uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that this problem, remember this sketch? Remember this part? Okay, let me just delete it and start from scratch. New one, I want to create a part studio that is uh, by name custom profile one. Maybe I want a uh, elect, uh, maybe a rect profile, a rectangle profile. You go to front plane, you sketch. Sketch the type of the profile you need the the contour. Maybe I want a profile that has this this shape like that. Maybe like that. Make some uh, this midpoint. Let me dimension this one to be 80. This one to be maybe 200. For the height to be 50. Let me have a symmetry here. I want to have a symmetry. Select symmetry here. Symmetric. These two lines like that. I want us to have this this profile that has this a simple profile just for explanation that maybe has a center. Let me use a center circle like that. Radius maybe that five. I need this type of profile, but I need to control two hundred. And I need to control the height for now. I'll control this distance and this distance only. Therefore, let me you can rename and maybe give it maybe my profile. For you to control these dimensions here, I said 200 by 550, you need to use what you call variable. A variable can be used to control your dimensions. I like using variable, call it length of value 200, maybe upper, upper length. Okay, you can give a description, another variable that is uh, height, that is height. That is maybe have a 50. I want to use these variables in my sketch, therefore, my sketch should be come later after those. Now you can edit for the 200, assign variable upper length for the 50, assign variable, assign variable height like that. variable height if you change anything here well, whenever you are editing something if you want to see the final model always activate final okay this is 400 maybe becomes longer if this one changes let's see what happens final this becomes maybe 100 like that I want us to have uh, upper length to be between between 100 and 200 maybe 
for you to get all these types of configurations you use what you call you don't use what we call configuration here okay therefore you need to configure all these values you select the configuration here on to use list the, for the first one you can give it maybe length and another one for the list list is where you can select i'll be selecting one length i'll be selecting height like that this means that um, i want to make various various configurations of different lengths and different heights therefore this one to be height i need default to be over a 50 mm i need or uh, another one for 100 mm another one for 150 mm For the height, I need the same thing. I need uh, I need the height of fifty. Another one of maybe seventy-five. Another one of hundred mm. Maybe I need three types of three types of configurations: different height and different different length. Okay. Then you have to select what you need to configure. For the length, just select configure. I need to configure this length, this value. This is a value I want to, to vary here. Yeah. Done. For the height, the value I want to change is this value of 50. Done. I need 50. I need 75 I need to be 100 here yeah, I need 50 I need 100 and I need 150 you can add another maybe something maybe profile the name profile like that we have now different configurations for the length and for the height. As you can see here on top, we have here the YAL. We have 50 millimeter pro profile for the length. That's the default one. We can change here. I want 150. The sketch changes. For the height, I need 100. You can see the sketch is changing as per. The same time, when you select the configuration here, even the variable changes. If I change height to be 75, this has to change because it has been driven by the by the configuration. Then next step is you go to the frame, you tag profile, you select your profile here, my profile, select your sketch. Standard, maybe let me give them a name that is maybe custom maybe custom 001 your standard for the description you can also configure this such that when you when you're using 50 mm length or 50 mm height setting setting description to be indicated here therefore i can configure this with a length yeah, for this one will be, will be 50 mm profile maybe 100 mm profile when you create the cut list the description will be indicated there like that therefore when you select 150 this to be the description i want to use just I want just to use length to drive my description then select ok 
we will illustrate later how to use additional column for example if you want to have a header maybe you want to see maybe owner who is the owner maybe ownership like that then now the profile custom made custom profile is ready here to be used you can after finalizing your profile you can always create a version but if you want now to use this profile in another document you need to create a profile but since i'm using same document with the profile i don't need a version version is used to link one document to another but now i don't need a, a version here let me create another part studio and create a, a simple sketch here using a corner rectangle oh, no, let me use center let me use center like that that to be a thousand it has to be 800 I want now to use my custom profile and make a frame you go back to frame frame for the sketch profile you go to the current document because my custom profile is in my current document you select your custom profile here it is then you select the length you need at the height configuration let me use maximum maximum and minimum then you select to generate this is my profile the profile gets generated here you select it for the selection you can select you can select that area but i want to use only this three edges like that then then say okay you can see now my profile the one i modeled here it is same thing i've used a custom made profile then let's see what happens if you edit this sketch let's let's edit and instead of instead of having a circular at the center like that let me have a center point rectangle instead like that go back here you see what happens once you edit your profile even your frame gets updated that's amazing remember the description when you when you created this tag profile we when you when you created this one for the description here this one description because now we are using 150 description shows 150 the same case will apply to the part studio if you go to the cut list of my frame for the frame on to create a cut list like that let me activate my cut list here you can see now the description is 150 and the owner is the ownership remember the val this one was here the column we said additional column to be owner and under the owner to be the value of ownership ownership cloud if you change the name of the ownership there if you go back here this one updates last three if for the frame let me edit the frame and change the this one too let me use both 50 height 100 generate you see the updates the updates then the update then after that as you can see now in the cut list 
selecting the cut list here this now changes that's how you use a custom made profile in onship stay tuned for more videos